do you sweat a ton? Like, I mean, do your feet sweat when you're running like nine miles in the heat like I do? If so, you might have issues with heel uh, chafage or slippage in shoes, and you might get some heel blisters occasionally. Uh, and you may have tried, like me, you know, putting KT tape, some other kind of tape on your heel, and then you sweat or you go through creek crossings and it comes off. And then 10 miles into your run, you're back to getting your heel rubbed and getting more blisters. So today I'm gonna show you how to hopefully fix that. It's worked for me for a while now, uh, like 100 mile races and stuff like that. So hopefully it works for you. Let's check it out. All right, so a couple of products you're gonna need in order to do this. Uh, I'll link everything down below in the description so you can go to Amazon. They are affiliate links, some of them, so you can pick up these products. They do help support the channel. Don't cost you anything though, uh, but you do need these to make the tape stick and a special good kind of tape. So first thing you're gonna want is just some regular old rubbing alcohol. You can get this anywhere and that's to clean the foot. You wanna get all the oils off of your foot or wherever you're applying the tape. Uh, for me in this example, I'll do the heel. Uh, so you wanna clean it really well with a rubbing alcohol and let it dry so you get all those oils and any kind of residue off of the skin. Okay, and next you're gonna to wanna to get some Luco tape. Uh, Luco tape P is what this is called. It's uh, one and a half inches by 15 yards. Uh, I got this off of Amazon, link below. Uh, but this is a medical grade tape. It works incredibly well uh, at just sticking. Like this tape sticks so well, especially when you use this next product that you don't want to pull it off uh, or else it might take your skin with it. Uh, so let it, let it get wet, let it get saturated and you know start to come off a little bit and then remove the tape. Uh, and along with that, you're gonna need some scissors. You can use regular scissors from your kitchen, junk drawer. These are like some hair cutting little clipper things. So just something to round the edges of the tape because you don't want any straight edges. You want to round those edges so that it doesn't uh, start to peel up on you. And then the next uh, item is the real key to this whole thing of what helps this tape stick. Because as good as this tape sticks, it still comes off in the rain, in the wet, sweat, whatever it is. After a while, it's going to come off. It just, it's tape. It does that. So to help it stick better, buy this right here. This is a benzoin compound tincture. Uh, again, link below. Yeah, essentially, this is a, a wound care thing. It says, forms a coating over wound for protecting reoccurring canker sores. Uh, but what this also acts as is an adhesive. So you clean the uh, foot with the rubbing alcohol, let it dry. Then you apply a little bit of the benzoin compound on it. Let that dry for like five minutes. It gets really tacky. And then you put the tape on top of that. And that's what it is. It, it just works perfectly. Uh, I've gone through lots of creeks. I've worn this in 100 mile races. Uh, like I said, through creek crossings, it's been great. So right now I'm going to show you exactly how I apply it and it works for me. Hopefully it works for you. So let's get to it. All right, as you can see, I've got some adhesive still stuck to my foot from the last time I did this. And I'm just using a paper towel now with rubbing alcohol to clean the foot, get all the uh, oils and residues off of the foot. Now we just gotta let that air dry for a real brief period. Okay, as you can see here, I've got the benzoin compound tincture. I'm going to apply a little bit of this to the paper towel and then just rub this on the foot. All right, so I'm just going to rub it on the same area I cleaned with the alcohol. Uh, this just allows the tape to adhere a little bit better. All right, now we're going to let that sit for about, I don't know, three to four or five minutes and it just gets really tacky. All right, so we've got the tape here. This is the Luco tape. Now I'm going to use the scissors and I'm going to round the edges just round the edges because you don't want any straight sharp edges to maybe you know catch your sock as you're running and kind of peel up a little bit okay so i cut this piece off and now i'm just going to round these edges here all right so now i've got the piece cut and ready to go on the heel and again you just apply it then directly over the area where you applied the benzoin compound being sure to not get any creases you know this tape does stretch just a slight bit which is great because it really does allow you to get the, the creases out and then you just want to rub it, get it down as much as you can. You really want to press it in there. And then I'll also do another component that I don't have with me right now, but I will take a hair dryer and then use the high setting of the heat and put it directly over top of the tape here and allow that to heat up the adhesive and really get a good bond with the foot. Well, that's it. That's what you have there. That's the benzoin tincture with the Luco tape for the heel. Uh, and again, like I said, just do not go and remove this, uh, you know, right away. Let your foot get saturated in the shower and the tape get really wet so that you can then peel it off a little bit easier. All right, well, that's it. That's how you apply it. Those are the products you need. 
try it out, test it out on some long runs before you do it for a race, see if it works for you. There have been some people, if you look at reviews on Amazon, that have had some skin reactions to the, uh, the Benzoin. Uh, so just check it out on a small area first. Uh, it is really tacky when you apply it. If you have some latex gloves, that does help. Obviously, I didn't use them in this video. It does wash off with soap and water. Uh, a little bit of stickiness still, but not bad. So just see if it works for you, how, how your skin reacts to it. Uh, and then, like I said, just don't, don't rip it off when you're done, like especially if you only go out for a four or five hour long run. Don't try to just take it off unless it's completely saturated. It's been through water. Uh, it still sticks, but it comes off easier then. If you use rubbing alcohol as well, again, like you did to clean the uh, foot first, it helps it come off a little bit too. So try that. But anyway, I hope this is helpful. Hope you learned something new. Maybe it does help you in a race somewhere. You don't get a blister because you did this. This tape stays on. Uh, you know, let me know below if it works, if it doesn't work, or if you found something else that does work for your foot care. So anyway, thank you all for watching. I really do appreciate you. Uh, if you want to give the video a thumbs up, that would be awesome and much appreciated. And if you're new and you'd click subscribe, that'd be really cool too. That way you'll see other future running tips and shoe reviews, watches, all sorts of cool stuff. So thank you for watching. If you want to take a look at the No Business 100 video where I was, I had this on my heels, uh, this is going to be over here on this side of your screen. You can check that out. And then over here will be a video of some gear reviews to go check out too. So, so I'll see you over in one of those and I'll see you on the next one.